the National Youth Policy, which highlights concerns of the young people of Dominica and makes recommendations as to the way forward, is currently before Cabinet for approval. And this is according to Youth and Employment Public Relations Officer of the National Youth Council, Alexander Barron. According to Barron, and education and unemployment are two main issues highlighted in the National Youth Policy. Since for the young persons have gone into the policy and, and, the, and the most salient ones, the ones that come up every time, is employment. We have to agree that young persons want to be engaged in order to develop themselves economically and socially. So employment is foremost. The other question is that of education. We recognize that to unlock the, 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 the chains that, are, that, that can sometimes affect young persons is that of a, an education as it relates to um, children being kept in school, um, you know, anywhere from the primary the primary right through to the secondary or tertiary level. So education really falls on the forefront of that. Employment falls on the forefront for that. And a side component of employment, which is that access of credit, access to credit, so that young persons can begin, you know, developing some business ideas. You, you find that young persons are increasingly innovative. Uh, you know, they increasingly want to take charge of their lives. And, you know, having access to money is rather not on the stringent um, components of accessing a loan will enable them to to, um, you know, be empowered as such. So really, these are some of the areas that, in fact... And Barron says the lack of involvement in policymaking is also a major concern expressed by young people in Dominica. The National Youth Policy was submitted to Cabinet in December 2016, and it is expected to be implemented following Cabinet's approval.